this is how the world map currently looks like. But it is about to change after we move on to April 2001. Hi, and welcome to episode 4 of the Chronological series. The game update of April 6th, 2001 is a massive one, and it includes a monastery with healing monks, a chaos temple with monks who to this day will not share wine with you, the city of Faldor, in which there is the second bank of RuneScape, Port Serum is released with the game's second magic shop, and finally, a new dungeon with a new boss at the end of that dungeon. The Combat 68 Ice Giant. Now with this new boss also comes the new Best in Slot shield, which is dropped at a rate of 1 in 128. And that shield is also going to be my very first goal. But here we are again, just like with the Moss Giants. The Black Kite Shield is an upgrade over my Steel Kite Shield, but I'm not able to wear it because it is not released yet. So this will have to be dropped. And hopefully next shield will be the Mithril one. The Ice Giants currently are way too strong to kill with melee properly. So if I really want that Mithril Square shield, I'm going to be trying out using a ranged and using the safe spot. But before I will be able to hit anything with my regular Shorebow and Bronze Arrows, I will probably need to train a little bit of ranged. So here I am back at the chickens. I'm going to be needing 31 prayer pretty soon anyway. So I might just stay here until 31 prayer. Almost level 30. Final bone for 31 prayer. But these prayers will be released soon. And I will be needing 31 prayer relatively soon anyway. So with 21 range at the moment, let's head over to the Ice Giants. I might be needing more bronze arrows. Sadly enough, 2000 feathers gathered, but feathers do not exist yet. So I will be needing to drop those. Now in RuneScape Classic, there is no ranged armor. So I can't really go to Horvik and buy some studded because that does not exist yet. You get a bow, you get some arrows, and that's it. You might notice that in these shots there are no ice warriors. And that is because at first the Asgarnia dungeon had no ice warriors. At the end of the dungeon there were just two ice giants. The Chrono plugin hides all unreleased monsters and ice warriors will be released later this year. <gasps> Gibbet. <laughs> Gibbet. I got it. Great snoop. All right, finished that raid on the ult, and wasn't really expecting to get a myth square, as you might have heard. And the main reason was that I am basically double the drop rate, and I wasn't expecting it to drop anytime soon. But I'm really, really happy that I actually got it, so I can move on. This is the best in slot completed for April 2001. As if we compare the steel kite shield to the mithril square. It is plus two in everything. With having acquired the best in slot, let's complete April 2001 by completing the four quests that were released. The first one is pretty close by. It is in Lumbridge of Esgarnia. When I originally made Remington, um, it was going to be a sort of an alternative start area so that you could start as an Asgarnian and start in Rewington or start as a Miscellanean and start in um, Lumbridge. Um, and I, the Witch's Potion quest was originally designed as a nice easy starters quest which was equivalent to um, Cook's Assistant for people who started in Asgarnia. Um, but then we never followed through on that so then Rewington is just this little funny village with one little quest in it. That is the first quest completed, 325 magic experience. Also, killing all of those hill giants got me from, I don't know what level I started with, I think like 19 or something, all the way to 43. There are just three more quests to go. Spy quest, sword quest, and dork's quest. 
Doric's quest is still the fetch quest where you need to gather 6 clay, 4 copper and 2 iron ore. The major difference is, however that the Dwarven Mine has the same layout as RuneScape 2, the location of the ore rocks are different. Since you can fail the prospect option and there are no names, every single rock is called rock. I just started mining everything at random and hopefully I was finding copper, iron and clay. What? You need to have another player? According to the RuneScape wiki, you need another player to be able to do this quest. This is Shield of Erev all over again. Wow, you actually need surviving to be talking to someone, so he can't be talking to you. It's not that one, it's not this one. It's not in the corners, it's not all... It's it, is it the middle one. This is actually the middle one. Fuck off, dude, go away! Yeah, I'm dead, I have no food left. Ah, oh, fuck you! Ah, oh, shit, I gotta heal, I gotta heal, I gotta heal, I gotta heal. Is this the middle one? Come on. <gasps> yes, I got it, I got it! Dude! Oh, don't die. Ah, oh, I ate. Good, 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 good. I actually ate. Okay, uh, sword quest gave me a little trouble. Just one more quest to go. Spy quest is where you infiltrate the Black Knight's fortress and sabotage them by dropping a cabbage in a chute. The fortress looked a lot different in Classic, which had me confused for a while. There is a side entry door for guards, and that is the only way to get inside. And in that room, there's a secret entrance where you go upstairs and listen at the grill. Then the rest of the quest is pretty simple. Drop the cabbage in the hole, and quest complete. Wait, what? I get two thieving levels from doing the spy quest? Also known as Black Knight's Fortress? What? In free to play! Okay, that's cool, that's cool. And those are all the quests completed for April 2001. Now what I would like to do before moving on to the next game update is to do some mining and smithing. Because I would like to try out the new Dwarven Mine, Felder Furnace and Dorix Anvils. While doing some mining and smithing, let's go over the other news posts of April 2001. Today, right after the release of Asgarnia, there were already some server issues. And that is because of the large amount of new code that is added. And the second issue is that there are even more server issues. But this only occurs at peak times when there are over 1024 players logged in at the same time. Did you guys anticipate? Did you have a plan for yeah. like if it spikes as far, what we're we gonna do? No, I mean, no, I mean, my aim at the time was to basically get more players than the sort of little text-based sort of mug that I've been playing prior to that, you know, and that game was sort of getting maybe sort of 20, sort of 30 simultaneous players at peak. And my aim was sort of like, I'm going to beat that. I'm going to get more players than they've got by having graphics. And that was kind of, that was the level of my ambition. Um, you know, the actual software I'd written at the time couldn't actually handle more than, you know, a few hundred players concurrently because I just didn't expect that to ever happen. And since there are over a thousand players online at the times, Instead of having a list of all the players' names that are currently online, instead, the page now shows you the number of players that are currently online. As well, it will show you all the top players who are currently online in every skill. There we go, that is 40 smithing. I can now smell the gold ore, which is gonna be a really important next game update. And as you can see in my inventory right now, the plugin says that gold ore officially does not exist yet. And that is technically true, gold ore does not exist yet, because in RuneScape Classic, gold ore is called just gold. It has a different name in Classic. But it is technically the same item. And with that, all the goals that I wanted to complete in April 2001 completed. 
This month was a really big one with area extension, but next month is gonna be a real big one for scaling. Okay, thanks, bye. We had a plan that we were gonna make a members game um, before we actually made the members game, and all the bit to the sort of west of the, the current free area was gonna be the members content, and you can actually see there's lots of boundaries and stuff around there, and then we wimped out at the last minute and decided <laughs> to give it away for free because we thought it wouldn't fly. Oh, yeah, the boundary in between Asgarnia and Mistelin. Yeah, As Asgarnia yes. was going to be the members game. Except it was going to be the free game. But then we put Asgarnia in the game while we were building it with the wall and people got all excited about it and we hadn't told them that it was going to be pay only. And it would have been a bit of a letdown if we said, oh, here it is. Oh, and by the way, you have to pay. You probably need to warn them a bit in advance or it's just going to... Yeah. It would have gone down very, very badly if we said, oh. So, yeah, so Asgarnia was the original members game. But then we gave away for free. It's fair.